Um, see, I already have these files made, but like I said before, you just open up Notepad, you'd put in the code, and then you'd go to File Save and save it as description.ext and save as type all files. Here, all 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 that happens is um, game type is what shows up when the mission is being played online and in the lobby it'll show co-op um, here is uh, so on load mission this is the name that'll come up so in this case we'll just put Tunguska and yeah that's pretty much it um, later on actually I'll show you a few more things you could do with your description.ext we're gonna need it for respawns so we'll just save that Okay, so we have our init.sqf, briefing.sqf, and description.ext. Now we're gonna have to put this all in our mission, in our mission folder. So to go to your mission folder, or where your mission saved is, you go to if you're on Vista, uh, XP is pretty much the same thing. Go to your documents, um, then go to Arma 2 other profiles. Double click your profile, then go to MP missions, and Remember test, we have our test mission, so we'll double click on that, and you'll have your mission.sqm file. That's the file that's read by the editor. You can also open it with Notepad to adjust a few things, but we don't have to right now. So we'll select the three files, init, briefing, and description. We'll, we'll cut it, and then we'll paste it into the mission folder. Alright, so now when we start up the game, um basically I'll show you what everything what everything did. So we'll look at the briefing at SQF once more. We have our task OBJ one is destroy Tunguska and just take a look. And here's our notes. Alright. See if we wanted to put task OBJ objective 2 you would put it above objective 1 not under okay we'll save it alright and then uh, so now I'm gonna open up for apps and turn off Camtasia and uh, we'll see how it looks alright uh, so we're back in the editor now we're just going to test out the, the briefing. So go to preview. So as you can see in the tasks, we have what we have in the briefing. And in the notes, remember where I put the title here? Well, that's where the title here would actually appear. And then the uh, description. So everything is working. Actually, I want to, sorry, I'm going to edit something real quick. The force end trigger, I'm going to give it a timeout for 30 seconds so you could see everything, how it happens. Okay, so after 10 seconds, it's supposed to say choppers are unlocked. Yeah, okay, it should work now. Preview. And tasks and notes. Oh, whoops, I got track IR on one sec. Okay, so we'll take out the uh, javelin.
fire. Objective completed, you see? So we have 30 seconds, I have 30 seconds to show you everything. So as you can see in the tasks, the objective has been completed. And choppers are unlocked, that's been 10 seconds. And in 20 seconds, um, the game is supposed to end. So we'll see. There we go. Everything works. The game has ended. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. You now are qualified to make yourself a briefing. Um, working triggers to support the briefing and everything else. So uh, go out and have fun. And the next few tutorials, I'll probably just make, I don't know, I might make a, I don't know, we'll see what, we, what I've come up with. Alright guys, see you later.